If I had to speak about the whole year in League of Legends as G2, I would say that it was overall a pretty good year. A year that, you know, in the first split, when no one ever gave a crap about us or even thought that we could do well, we actually won the split in the playoffs. And then, you know, coming into, into obviously MSI didn't go that well. Uh, we learned a lesson, we learned a lot from it. Then second split, I feel like we did a pretty good job. Uh, Mithi and Sven, as well as expect, you know, added a lot to the table. They are great players and great people, and it showed, right? We were getting so much better as a team. And when we came to Worlds, our expectations were really high. Our training was amazing. And uh, overall, we were feeling really good and humble inside from what we learned from previous tournaments. And uh, it just, you know, it was a catastrophe. You know, it didn't go as we planned. And obviously, while we learned a lot from it, it was still devastating. The idea behind increasing our coaching stuff was uh, mostly how, how we felt about Worlds. Um, it felt like Joey had too much on his plate to take for, like, for everything he was doing. And we felt like if he could have some help, it would be easier for both us and him to like, get a system uh, that works. So we looked for coaches that can also do everything, the life coaching, strategic coaching, performance coaching because we believe that every coach should be able to be good at every asset of coaching. Whereas other teams have like a, a specific strategic coach or life coach, we wanted to have a coach that could do everything. So that's what we ended up looking for and that's what we found in Alex and in Weldon. Alex probably has more uh, strategic coaching and life coaching and Weldon is of course very good at performance coaching and the psychology behind it. Before this I was coaching TSM in the North American LCS and before that I was doing performance coaching for a number of teams like as a consultant. The reason that I applied for the position at G2, I made a pact with myself to win Worlds in the next three years about two years ago. So uh, for, to do that I need to become the best League of Legends coach that there is. So that's been my more or less single-minded focus since 2014 when I started doing studying the, the psychology of, of performance. G2 still feels so like fresh and new, like you can really make your mark on the world here. And they're, you know, they're, it was born out of League of Legends, which, which is my home as well. And so it felt like a really good fit to me. My name is Alexei Taranda, always known as Sharks. I'm, right now I'm assistant coach for G2 Esports League of Legends team. And previously in 2016, I worked as head coach for LCL Team Vegas Squadron. In Russia, we didn't have that good coaches, and I wanted to go to Europe or United States in order to improve as a person and as a coach. And I think like G2 Esports is the best opportunity for me to improve as a person, as a player, and to learn a lot from all the players and all the coaching staff we have here. Keeping Joey is, uh, was definitely capital for, for us. Joey has a, a mindset for growth that I believe is the, is the most important thing to have for a head coach. He always wants to improve, he always looks for feedback, and he always looks to kind of do better, right? Uh, so keeping him was, was a no-brainer. Then uh, getting Sharks on board, getting Alex on board, we knew that he was super structured and he liked to study the opponent a lot, and we knew he would ha we would have a lot of context just from having him. Everyone knows Weldon uh, from other teams, and uh, I genuinely believe that he has the, uh, the right skill set for what we need right now. He is able to teach the coaches new things and to let the players see things that they already know. On top of having more coaching stuff, I think we're going towards having a more strict environment, a more focused environment, a more tough schedule where we do things at certain times and try to be more consistent in our environment. And then on the Rift, we want to be better as well and at being more consistent and not winning because we're better than the other team and trying to actually be a a team that wins because of good macro and good players. I think it's a step in the right direction. Now that everyone is in the house and we start screaming again, like our screams are a lot more quality than last year because we have already the bases down and we know how to make our screen practice more efficient compared to last year. So everyone is just really motivated and wants to prove to themselves and to the fans who support us that we can be really good again. This first year was contradictory, it was very polarizing. We had extremely great moments and we have shitty moments. We had moments where we lost games that we shouldn't have lost, definitely. The expectations were here and we ended up here in reality. Um, overall, 
the only thing I can, I can say about this year is that we learned a lot. We are still a startup. G2 is not even two years old yet. And we are talking about mistakes that, you know, if we fix, we have the team to, the team and the coaching staff and the infrastructure to make sure that we reach any heights, that we reach any goals that we have in mind. So keeping the team together, improving the infrastructure and structure of the club, this by default will make us better. So 2017 is going to be a year that I am looking forward to and that I'm very hopeful for. We're gonna work. If we worked last year, which we did, believe me, this year we're gonna fucking kill it.